In computing, the focus indicates the component of the graphical user interface which is selected to receive input. Text entered at the keyboard or pasted from a clipboard is sent to the component which has the focus. Moving the focus away from a specific user interface element is known as a blur event in relation to this element. Typically, the focus is withdrawn from an element by giving another element the focus. This means that focus and blur events typically both occur virtually simultaneously, but in relation to different user interface elements, one that gets the focus and one that gets blurred. The concept is similar to a cursor in a text-based environment. However, when considering a graphical interface, there is also a mouse pointer involved. Moving the mouse will typically move the mouse pointer without changing the focus. The focus can usually be changed by clicking on a component that can receive focus with the mouse. Many desktops also allow the focus to be changed with the keyboard. By convention, the tab key is used to move the focus to the next focusable component and shift plus tab to the previous one. When graphical interfaces were first introduced, many computers did not have mice, so this alternative was necessary. This feature makes it easier for people that have a hard time using a mouse to use the user interface. In certain circumstances, the arrow keys can also be used to move focus. Topic: <laughs> Window focus. The behavior of focus on one's desktop can be governed by policies in window management. Topic. Click to focus On most mainstream user interfaces, such as ones made by Microsoft and Apple, it is common to find a «focus follows click» policy, or «click to focus», where one must click the mouse inside of the window for that window to gain focus. This also typically results in the window being raised above all other windows on screen. If a click focus model such as this is being used, the current application window continues to retain focus and collect input, even if the mouse pointer is over another application window. Topic: <laughs> Focus follows pointer. Another common policy on Unix systems using X window system X11 is the focus follows mouse policy or FFM where the focus automatically follows the current placement of the pointer. The focused window is not necessarily raised, parts of it may remain below other windows. Window managers with this policy usually offer auto raise which raises the window when it is focused, typically after a configurable short delay. A possible consequence of a follow focus policy is that no window has focus when the pointer is moved over the background with no window underneath, otherwise the focus simply remains in the last window. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Sloppy focus. The sloppy focus model is a variant of the follow focus model. It allows input to continue to be collected by the last focused window when the mouse pointer is moved away from any window, such as over a menu bar or desktop area. Topic: <laughs> Focus models used by X11 window managers. Topic: Intra-window component focus. Individual components of a window may also have a focal position. For instance, in a text editing package, the text editing window must have the focus so that text can be entered. When text is entered into the component, it will appear at the position of the text cursor, which will also normally be movable using the mouse pointer. 
which component should have the default focus, and how focus should move between components, are difficult but important problems in user interface design. Giving the wrong thing focus means that the user has to waste time moving the focus. Conversely, giving the right thing focus can significantly enhance the user experience. Topic. See also Tab order Focus stealing <laughs>